Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Now, first of all, apologies for not having much Genshin content lately because I've been busy with a couple of things, you know, in Brave 9, in the other game that I play, there's just a collaboration going on, so I've been busy making videos on that. But there's this technique that I want to talk about, specifically the Dragon Strike technique for Diluc, all right? So there's a lot of characters that potentially might be able to utilize this particular new technique or new tech as they call it. So for those of you who are not aware or might not have heard of this particular technique before, Diluc has an ability that whenever you chain his attacks, he can basically try to dash forward and jump and do a plunge attack. So let me show you guys how this technique works. So this technique will enable you to get more damage overall from your Diluc, but is it worth learning? So that's what we're going to discuss in this video right here. Okay, so there's this ruin guard here that I disturbed earlier. So we're going to jump it, go near him, and I'm going to show you what the Dragon Strike technique is all about. Okay, so if you guys are not aware, every time Diluc hits an enemy, during that hit lag or whatever you call that, uh, the when the sword lands on the enemy, if you try to dash forward and jump at the same time, you will be able to jump at an extra height that will enable you to do plunge attack. So let me try and show it to you, like this, like that. All right, so hit, dash forward, jump, and plunge. So that's how you do it. So of course you can chain this with whatever. Oh shit. Of course you can chain this with Deluxe E, right? It's quite hard to, to do it properly. I haven't been practicing much, but it's a technique that's basically known to the Chinese players. I think they are the first one that discovered this technique. I'm not too sure, but a bunch of you guys have been, you know, uh, telling me about this technique that is, you know, that I should try to pick it up and try to learn with Diluc. The thing is, it works better on taller characters. So if you try to do this with Noel, it doesn't really work because Noel doesn't move as fast. So I think you want to take advantage of the movement speed. Oh my god, this guy is spinning. It's quite hard to explain. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's 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 just go somewhere safe and then we're gonna talk about this for a while. Alright, movement speed is very, very important. Now I haven't been able to try to execute this without the bonus advantage from two animal. Now, if you want to learn this technique, Number one, you either need to try to take advantage of this because this increases your movement speed by 10%. So I think that's very important, very crucial for your Deluxe to be able to dash forward and try to do that plunge attack. And number two, if you don't have, you know, two animal characters. Now sadly, some of the animal characters like Xiao doesn't really make sense and Jin is a 5 star. So they are both quite hard to obtain. So hopefully if you have Sucrose and the animal MC, then you can execute this perfectly. But if you do not have any of those, Diona works pretty well. Alright, so now why the heck Diona? Diona is the only other character in the game currently that has something that gives movement speed to the ally. So right here in her Cat's Tail secret menu, if you have her at Ascension, I think the first one, alright, characters shielded by Icy Paws have their movement speed increased by 10% and stamina consumption decreased by 10%. So right now, in the game, if I'm not mistaken, Diona is the only one that can alter the character's movement speed. So to make things super super easy, of course you can go with both the animal resistance and also the, uh, what you want to call this? Let me just try and swap in Sucrose. And Diona's shield as well. Now, how good is this tech so far? A lot of people have claimed, you know, you can basically get up to maybe 40 to 50% increase in damage which is pretty insane if you think about it. Okay, the downside of this skill is it doesn't work properly on the small characters. Like you can see right there, I'm trying to... Come on, why is there a Hydro right here? It doesn't work like particularly well on the small enemies, or at least I haven't been able to execute, like I haven't mastered this technique perfectly yet, just to let you guys know. So it seems to be something that is, you know, only doable towards big characters like the Ruin Guards, like the uh, Mita Curls, and then of course the Ruin Grader, Jovi Shafts, those things, all right? Any enemies that are currently in the Floor Trial Spiral Abyss, now those will get affected by this technique. Now the thing is, the consistency of this, 
Now let's talk about like this particular technique overall like should you even think about learning this particular technique because okay so number one I'm not sure what's the player base that are playing Genshin Impact on PC. If you play this on PC, you are playing using a mouse and keyboard, this is going to be easy to execute. But if you play Genshin Impact on a PS4 for example, you are using a controller, or if you are actually playing on mobile, like it will be so toxic trying to learn this, even if you can execute it properly, uh, I don't know, it might take months or even years. Alright, so that's already like half the player base, <laughs> that's specifically targeted towards the PC players, considering that you actually use mouse and keyboard. Now here's the thing, I think ping matters. I've been trying to use this technique on a higher ping, for example 120 to 130 ping, and I haven't been able to execute it consistently. Now it does occur sometimes, but in terms of consistency, it's really not there, and it can be quite annoying. And lastly, if you want to be able to execute the technique perfectly, you either need, like I mentioned, you either need the animal resonance, or you need to have Diona in your team. Now that can be a big deterrent factor depending on how you look at it. Now right now we only have 4 animal characters and it, Xiao is an option, Jin is an option, those are 5 star. But again if you use Xiao it doesn't make sense for you to use Diluc because you know, Xiao is like a really selfish carry. You ideally want to be able to support your Xiao consistently. So the only other option is Diona. I guess Diona works pretty good with Diluc. I wouldn't say it's a bad combo or anything like that. But yeah, it sort of limits your team to a certain extent, and I'm not sure if I like it. Now right now, the hardest content in the game is the Spiral Abyss Floor Trough, and I was able to clear it, uh, all of it consistently, so without any issues at all. Now if you are someone that struggles in Spiral Abyss, this might be something that you want to learn or try to pick up, I think. Uh, it might be a good additional skill to have, but in the future, we won't know if MiHoYo will ever patch something like this because I've heard something like uh, Keqing's technique to be able to spam her technique uh, twice have been patched or something like this so it might just be a matter of time before Deluxe this particular Dragon Strike technique gets patched as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think something like this will get patched in the future versions or do you guys think this is worth learning and picking up to be able to to be able to put into good practical use in things like Spiral Abyss. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, goodbye.